What's up Aquarius? Welcome to my channel, The Intuitive Teacup. I'm so happy to have all my Aquarian friends here with me today. We are going to do a fun little financial spread for you. Uh, money, career, jobs, finances, anything to do with those subjects. Uh, do keep in mind in a general reading, not everything I say is going to resonate with everyone out there. Um, if these messages don't seem to be fitting, if these, these messages don't seem to resonate with you in any way, you can push them aside, you can release them, you can find another video that resonates with you, another tarot reader, you do you, Aquarius. Um, more than likely, pieces and parts of this will resonate with you, but I encourage you to check your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs for additional messages. Everything you want to know uh, will be in the description box below, including the decks I am using as well as my social media channels. If you're into that, check those out. I am the Intuitive Teacup on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, as always, drop a like, share, subscribe where you can. That helps this channel gain momentum, gain uh, subscribers and viewers, and that is my ultimate goal here to get these messages out to those who want to see them. Let's hop in. All right, Aquarius. Oh, interesting. All right, so your first card out is the Eight of Cups. That is exactly what Taurus had in the exact same position. So this is coming off as your energy currently or, or coming into maybe in, in Virgo season, which is just around the corner. Um, it is a card of bravery and courage because it's taking stock of what's going on around you and realizing what is bringing you joy and what isn't. And ultimately, it's, it's the decision of, do I want to move on to seek something greater that's more in alignment with my heart's desires, right? And that's not always an easy thing to do, right? Frequently, this involves leaving the comfort zone. And again, with, with moon energy, the secrets aren't made clear to you. There's an idea of um, mystery, the unknown, right? But again, because it's, it's cups, it's water, it's emotions, emotionally, you feel like there's something more out there for you. But it does maybe involve taking a risk. It does involve taking a leap of faith, which, which is such your energy in, in, in the fool card, right, anyway? Um, yeah, interesting. So some of you may have heavy water in your chart. This is specifically a Pisces card. Um, but yeah, let's clarify it. Let's see what we can get for you. Something about a dream that others may view as being like, oh, you're a hopeless romantic. That could never happen. Uh, some, and the thing is, I think you actually know that it could. It's just getting yourself. It's not even motivated. I think the motivation is there. Emotionally, there may be something that is difficult to sever ties with. Let's clarify Ooh, the Eight of Cups. All right, good. Temperance, all right. So, Temperance, one of my favorite cards. Just in general, I love the Temperance card, but this depiction is so beautiful. Um, I'm getting so many messages, where do I start here? All right, so Temperance is a card of Sagittarius. Some of you may have that strong in your chart. But the something about the reason, or again, it, it all comes from the feeling. That's the focus here, but your reasoning for Wanting to move on has to do with the idea of something isn't equal in the cups going back and forth. The input doesn't match the output. So that could mean a lot of things, right? In a financial read, I can also see cups as money flow, energy flow, right? Your bank account, income and outcome. Something isn't matching. I'm just getting something is, is far outweighing the other. And so for some of you, this could be a love spread, right? I'm reading for money, but the idea of you're constantly giving and your person is taking and you're getting nothing back, that, that would make a lot of sense of why you're thinking of leaving, right? Um, also, something about mirror images here, um, may, maybe like the idea of a twin flame. Um, I, I am trying to read for finances, but just as these message, messages come, I do have to um, you know, give them out to you. The, and also the end the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. I think at one point in time you thought it led to a certain area and, and so you followed it. But I, just what I'm getting is once you got to that area, maybe that, that dream job or whatever it is for you, that title, that raise, that promotion, it didn't come again with the joy, the elation, the feelings of happiness, of contentment that you thought it would. It, it, um, it, it contradicted or um, went against how you pictured it feeling. And hence your reasoning of like, okay, well, I thought this was my end all be all, but you know what? It's not. There's another wish that I have. Because I mean, ultimately you go from the eight to the nine of cups, which is the wish fulfillment, right? Your dreams. We said hopeless romantic, right? It's, it's a dream. It's but again, your, your card, the, the, um, the star, right? It's the North Star that's guiding you. You have a much larger, wider perspective, I think, of the situation than maybe those in your tribe, those surrounding you. Maybe you have like some naysayers or people who are just, 
I, I, and I don't mean to insult anyone, but people who maybe have just settled, thinking that they can't, it's not going to get any better, so this is it, like, let's just, let's just embrace what we have. That is not your way of thinking, Aquarius. Again, you have a much, <clears throat> I just want to say, wider perspective. Some of you may want to want to travel or, or something about leaving the comfort zone, again, and, and broader, wider, bigger networks, reaching out to a bigger audience, to more subscribers, more clients, more viewers, more sources of income, more sources of money that's, that's, go that's going to be equal give and take. A lot of you may feel like even emotionally you're putting a lot of effort, your blood, sweat, and tears into a project, maybe a creative project with all this water, and it's just not yielding the results that you're hoping for. Even something about, <clears throat> this is interesting, something about the, the um, whatever you're putting your heart and soul into, you're hoping it provokes a certain emotion from a client, an audience, uh, for maybe those in the arts, acting, singing, dancing. And yes, yeah, something about in, in the status quo, in your current situation, it's not provoking the feelings of what you want out of. And so again, this might be relationship, but again, sticking to career. Yes, yeah, some of you may be performers or something where, okay, weirdly, even the idea of some, someone who works as a therapist the idea of, of trying to extract something from, from your client or from your patient to help them, right? To, to get out of like their own mental prison. It feels like you've just been chipping away at it. I just got the image of someone with like a little, what do you call that? Like a pick fork or whatever? I don't know what it's called. Um, like excavating, trying, trying to get into the rock, the solid wall, the cement wall, and you just can't penetrate it. Emotionally, isn't that interesting? Some of you, yes, yeah, some of you might be with a Sagittarius. This has to do with the balance of emotions of what you're giving and getting in terms of your career and your happiness and your goals and, and what it is that you want to do. <clears throat> it's about following your heart. It's cheesy sounding, but following the rainbow to your dreams. Again, that pot of gold that I think you thought was the end all be all, most of you have realized it's not. And, and it's not to say that some of you aren't going to stay there, but a lot of you are definitely thinking about moving on or leaving or, again, expanding in some capacity. If you aren't physically moving the space or leaving a job or leaving a title, it's expanding of how can I make this better so that it's more in alignment with my feelings, with my desires. A very cool message, Aquarius. I like that for you. So what is going to be your challenge in the coming weeks, in the coming months? <coughs> the Six of Wands. Victory. Feeling like you are making strides in the right direction. It's progress. And the thing is, it has nothing to do with, well, hold on. Yeah, okay. It has nothing to do with receiving recognition from those around you. Despite what I was saying about picking away at, at, at like the cement wall and trying to penetrate and dig some dig emotions out of your clientele or whatever it is, it has nothing to do with the feeling of validation you receive from them. It has to do with your own self. It's not self worth. That's not the right word. Um, it, it's it's essentially saying feeling like your actions with these wands are yielding results feeling like there is some sort of, again, input and output. And again, I, I really want to push this forward. It has nothing to do with being employee of the month, with receiving the accolade for all your efforts. Like you could give a shit about that is what I'm getting. Sorry for the language. But this is about feeling like what you're doing is bringing you satisfaction and fulfillment. Feeling like, like your life's work, your life's purpose it is something greater than just punching the clock nine to five doing this. It's like something about wanting to be a really active contributor, even to society or to making a change in the world, making a difference. That's what this is about. Um, something about freedom, not being, um, I just heard not drinking the Kool-Aid. Yeah. And I mean, that is kind of a fitting for Aquarius. You are not typically ones to conform. You, a freedom of thought that might, and it's not sword energy, it's wand, but freedom of passion, freedom for even like literal travel, sure. Um, freedom of expansion, I'm getting. Um, 
And typically the Six of Wands is, is that, that soldier marching triumphantly through a parade on his horse because he's accomplished something great. He's gotten out of the conflict and now it's like, again, people are looking up at you, Aquarius. It, it, I don't even know if this has happened yet. I think it's what you're trying to achieve. But it's like people are looking up at you and just almost swooning like, wow, look at Aquarius. They're so confident and they're so strong. Again, you don't care about the recognition. You want the internal validation of I made a difference today. I did something good and I feel good about it. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's almost more noble about this. Like I could give a flying you know what about what other people think. I'm doing this for me. I like that. But that's coming up as your challenge. So that's really important that I think it, it's something about maybe tempering, <laughs> there's temperance, tempering your attitude or your, um, your, maybe your zest, your fire. There may be part of you that kind of wants to fight your way through to, well, let's, let's clarify it. I'm just getting don't act in haste. And that's actually what came up in Taurus's reading too. It's like hang in there a little longer because again, the accolade, the recognition, even if it's not coming from those around, it, I, I think it is coming, but uh, sorry, let's clarify. I keep jumping ahead of myself. Something about bees to honey. The star. Come on, your card. We were just talking about that. <clears throat> wow. All right, this has a lot to it. Give me one second to digest it. I mean, the star is ultimately a card of hope. As we were saying, you have a much broader perspective of like the night sky, all the stars, endless possibility. That's what this is. It comes flooding out eventually. But for a lot of you, the reason why you're thinking of moving on is because I think this box is closed. Pandora's box, potentially, right? It's you release it and everything goes out into the world. Not necessarily negative, right? The box has been closed and I think your challenge or focus Sorry, Aquarius, my camera froze. So your challenge is not feeling that sense of victory because you can't get the box open. How I was saying, it's like you're, you're chipping away at a cement wall with your little like, what is that movie Shawshank Redemption where he has to build like a, a, a tunnel out of the prison and he's chipping away with his little rock tools at a cement wall to dig a tunnel to escape the prison? Aquarius, that is the perfect metaphor for what's going on here. You seek freedom, you, you seek joy. There is such a lack mentality of, or I'm sorry, not lack mentality. There is a lack in what you're receiving versus what you're trying to put out. You're trying to put good things out into the world. It's almost like <clears throat> the bee and the, and the flower. It's like you're there and you wanna bloom for the bee. You, you want to naturally provide for the bee nutrients. Um, even the idea of, of nature and cycles, of you're, you were put on this planet for a reason to do something and, and put out something beautiful and lovely out into the world. And that's such a beautiful like a mentality essentially, right? This is your card. You want to spread beauty and joy out into the world. But yeah, you're feeling like there's obstacles. That's what this could be. Like you're having to break through some sort of fence. Again, building the tunnel from, from inside the prison. You're trying to escape, and isn't this a card of release? I mean, just look at it. And again, the idea of the rainbow. What is your pot of gold at the end of the rainbow? I think a lot of you are trying to make strides towards, towards getting out of the current situation or the status quo and feeling like a sense of accomplishment for yourself that you're doing something that's more in alignment with who you are. So what is your help available to you in the coming weeks? The Page of Cups. All right. So um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. <clears throat> the page is a younger energy. It can sometimes be children. Some of you may want to work with children. Um, and page being a not a completely new energy, we think of the ace as the brand new. So page like bumps it up a notch. It's still new-ish, but it's the freshman in college. Like you have a, a base foundation, but you're ready to like expand your knowledge. Some of you might be going back to school for a specific um, subject. but And again, it's in alignment with your emotions or with your love or whatever it is you wanna spread out in the world. Open your box. I'm almost getting like opening your heart up and like butterflies are released, right? Some of you may wanna work with animals in nature, zoologist, I don't know, uh, marine biology, something like that. But even again, like um, something involving love, being a, or giving a love and emotions Feeling like your work is achieving or accomplishing something at the end of the day. And I am just getting make, making people feel good. 
how I was saying in your current state, it, it's like what you're, what you're throwing at the wall, you're hoping people are going to look at and be like, yes, I love it. And they're not. That could mean a lot of things. I'm like, I'm speaking in metaphor, but it's like, I think the help available to you is recognize. It's like changing the mix, it, changing the ingredients. There are a million different ways you can bake a cake, right? And, and some cakes are going to taste better than others. It's all, they're all going to look like cakes, you know, hopefully. But do you understand what I'm getting at? It's changing the ingredients around of, of the base that you've built, the knowledge you have, the work you've done so far. What elements can you change around? What can you remove? What can you add that emotionally is going to make the work you're doing more satisfying? And again, the idea of expansion, something about the ocean, uh, the vast scape of the ocean. It's like going to the ocean gives you perspective. Some of you may literally need to, to go hang out in nature by the ocean, by something about the sea, right? I mean, you are the water bearer, right? Some, yeah, there's something about getting in tune with your emotions, meditation, seeking greater answers. Seek, and it, it's seeking knowledge, but again, it's the page of cups. More emotions here. Can we clarify this for Aquarius? What is this page of cups about? And I will say, because the cup is spilled, right? One interpretation of this could be that what you've built up until this point so, so far, it wasn't for nothing. At one point, there was a cup there and it was potentially full, right? Again, that's perfect of what the Eight of Cups is. At one point in time, this was emotionally fulfilling. But the cup has spilled now. There, there's not a lot of water left in there. It's time to look elsewhere. Cups in, in money spreads can absolutely be symbolic of, of your financial abundance, right? Your, your wealth or whatever it is you're, you're looking after. Either money isn't good in this, this job, but again, for most of you, it's, it's more the, the idea of, of what you're putting out into the world and, and the reception it's getting or the results it's getting from people. The Two of Cups, yeah, all right. So similar to Temperance, who's the angel of love, by the way, Michael, you know, symbolically, back and forth with Cups, this ever-flowing energy of love and abundance, of healing, so this can be a very healing energy. Again, yoga, meditation on the beach, that might be very peaceful and put you back at center with yourself. <clears throat> You're looking to maybe join a partnership of some kind or find a cup that matches yours. Again, for some of you, this is a romance spread, but I'm reading for careers, so take what resonates. But it's like you're looking for that, how I was saying, like that reflection, that almost like twin flame, a reflection of you. That's sort of what I'm getting here, too, with the two of cups. It has to do with finding someone, a cup that matches your own, a business partnership, a best friend who, who shares your values and ethics, and you maybe you go into business together, or even exchange ideas collaboration it's it's about collaboration and who you want to collaborate with i think that's what this is i think it's leaving behind people that you have currently been collaborating with and seeking new opportunities elsewhere that are more in uh, again in more alignment with your heart's desires and there is something about this card about rescuing people saving people helping them bringing joy into their life Something about that is very important to you, Aquarius. It's like you want to leave your mark on the world and, and make sure it's a positive one at that. And now that I'm saying all this, you had a reading like this not too long ago that was similar. There's something about the legacy you leave behind. You just want it to be a positive one. And again, it, it doesn't come from this superficial ego of I need this written you know, on my grave of all my great accomplishments. It's not that. It's, it's the internal thing feeling of seeing the work you've put out into the world and having a sense of pride. Boom, that's what this card is. Marching triumphantly through the parade for you, on your own accord. It has nothing to do with the recognition other than for yourself, recognizing that you've done good in the world, like you can check that box and move on to the next project. It's really great, and like again, I can't stress enough, it's not ego, it's based out of the pure love in your own heart. I think some of you are going to be looking for partnership or clients or opportunities that, that match you better, that are a better fit for you. Again, where, where the income matches the outcome, whether that's in money or emotions or effort. Um, yeah, it, it's something about leveling, leveling the, the field or leveling the, the efforts, the love, collaboration. <clears throat> 
realizing cups have spilled too because two of cups can be symbolic of a romantic relationship so what's clarifying this spilled cup it's not new right it's the page you've been together for a little while someone feels trapped someone feels stuck like they're tied to a rock Again, that rock you've been penetrating, right? That cement wall you've been chipping away at. For some of you, it's with a Sagittarius. He, he has a bow and arrow, right? The archer. Yeah, again, if, it, if this is romantic for some of you, I can absolutely see it. I think it's time to look elsewhere. Some of you are feeling that already. And you'll know if this is your story. If it's not, that's cool. You can move on, right? What is your um, guidance? What guidance do we have for Aquarius? The Knight of Pentacles. This keeps coming up and it's so perfect because we're headed right into Virgo season. So it's like Virgo's like, let me, let me slap you with my energy, Zodiac signs. I got you. Like, let's all be Virgos. Um, so Virgo, the Knight of Pentacles, very reliable, a very steady knight. He is all about the process. And he's aware that slow and steady wins the race. It's going to yield the best results. It's not the Knight of Swords. It's not the Knight of Wands where it's that fiery, intense, fast energy. It's going on, on your passion, going on your thoughts. There's something about this. It's earth. It's slow. You can't force Mother Nature. Things progress when they want to. You can only nurture the seed and do so much. And then ultimately, it's like it's up to the universe. <clears throat> but this is also asking, where do you want to plant your seed? Something about, like, as we were, the metaphor of the cake, what ingredients can I switch around? Do you, I just heard, do you even want to build the cake here or make the cake here? Is this where you want your wedding, right? Whatever that is. Is this where you want to graduate? Is this the school you want to go to? Is this the class you want to excel in? Is this, I, whatever it is. This is asking, where do you want to plant the seed? Again, a lot of this has to do with starting anew potentially elsewhere, leaving behind the comfort zone or, or the familiar, everything you've always known, and going after those dreams, going after that wish, being strong in your power and, and doing what it is that you want to do in the world, the action you want to take, the forward movement. Where do you see yourself? This is, uh, weirdly enough, this is like assessing the situation. Coming out of your, oh my God, you guys, the Shawshank metaphor, right? He builds a tunnel, look. He just escaped his tunnel, didn't he? Now there's this newfound freedom. A lot of you, if you're questioning, should I stay or should I go? Again, use your own discretion and judgment. You are the driver of your own chariot. But for a lot of you, your guidance is dig that tunnel. Get out of there. Seek some freedom because I'm just getting like he's almost in awe of the possibilities that await him now. And it's something about you could never see them before, almost in the dark, right? It, with this moon energy, things are shadowy, things are blurry, there isn't certainty, there isn't clarity, there's a lot of unknown, there's mystery, there's uh, even anxiety about uh, how to move forward in the dark when you don't know exactly where to go or who to go with or what you want to build. Keep digging the tunnel because it's like the, the sky clears, the sky opens up and there's illumination. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Aquarius. <clears throat> The Knight of Swords. So there's that Gemini energy. Interesting. All right. So for some of you, it's changing locations. And, and I do have to say, because it's here, if you're in a romantic partnership or with a business partner that you really are in alignment with, you guys have a great collaboration. There's like a yin to your yang. You don't have to leave them behind. There's something about, this is the card of Gemini, right? There's something about these two that work in unison, but I am getting a new environment is what's needed for this relationship to thrive. Um, but also for these thoughts, these ideas that, that you want to put out into the world, but because they're thoughts, they're internal now. There's something about they haven't come to the surface to be expressed almost in wand energy, if you will, or cup energy, like nurturing. I, I hope I'm not losing you guys. There's something about this idea that needs to be taken to new lands. Again, go through that tunnel of mystery and, and see what's on the other side. Rainbow, pot of gold at the other side of the rainbow. We thought it led here, but like maybe let's backtrack and see where else it could lead. The number two is important here. The two rainbows, the, like I was saying, twin flame or two of cups, the knight of swords with Gemini energy. If you're with a Gemini, again, this might be a very good partnership or relationship, but I am getting dig a new hole elsewhere, set up shop elsewhere, maybe take your business to a different location, move out of state, open up multiple chains or multiple shops or uh, something about drawing in new clients or new customers.
take one more, then we're wrapping it up. What awaits this Knight of Pentacles on the other side? You have two knights. It's like double confirmation. Move. Change and movement. Knights bring change and movement into our life. You have, again, two knights, right? The number two. Um, Aquarians, some of you are born in the month of February, the second month. Again, two, like a partnership, a business partnership, a romantic partnership. Getting some sort of, op I said this to Taurus too. You may be involved in a Taurus, they're the second zodiac sign. Getting information on the 22nd of the month or on the 12th of the month or the second, so the number two may be significant to you. Yeah, so I asked, what is this Knight of Pentacles looking up at? <coughs> Excuse me, that's bringing him joy or something that is illuminated or enlightened. It's leaving the past behind. The Three of Swords, it's like being stuck. Being stuck in water, feeling like you're being drowned or something. It's like this situation needs to be released and how this is like healing. Healing is needed to recover from some sort of heartbreak, whether it's financial difficulty or not getting along with your current tribe, your people, having trouble in a romantic relationship. It's like when you make it through the hole and it is like you're on the other side, right? I just heard the Chili Pepper song, Other Side. I don't know what that has to do with anything, but yeah, it, it, it's a brand new day. It's the dawning of a new day. And there's more clarity with, with the Knight of Swords you have more clarity about the work that is going to be built, the work that is going to get done. All right, Aquarius, that's what I got for you. This was actually kind of a kick-ass read. I really liked it. Um, it. It's very hopeful, but hang in there. Um, yeah, let me know in the comments below what resonated. Uh, please do like, share, subscribe. That helps me a lot. I will see you guys next time. Bye.